Hey, what's going on guys? We're back with the next part of our Learning c Sharp tutorial series, and today's going to be a quick, quick episode on, uh, moving away from this stuff, and we're going to go back into, uh, adding a bit more to our Overlay Manager. This is kind of a, it's getting kind of to kind of a, a large script, but I kind of like it. It's a pretty, uh, pretty integrated system we can use here. Um, so I'm just going to clean this up a little bit so it's a little bit more readable. Um... Okay, so uh, today we're going to be implementing our um, weapon sway, or uh, I guess sway is not the, really the right word, but the sub stability of it, so it'll move up and down um, while you're aiming. And we only want to do this when we are able to aim, not when we're firing, because then um, we don't want to mess around with the rechamber. I mean, it won't affect it; it just it'll look a little a little strange. So we're only going to want to do the uh, stability when we're allowing input. So we'll do it inside here. Now instead of adding in a second line, since we're already adding to the mouse position to X, we can go ahead and do it in, or uh, the Y rather, we can go ahead and do it in here. If you wanted to, we could have a left and right um, stability thing, but in most games like this, it's usually just the up and down, um, I keep saying sway, I'm not sure if that's the correct term, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say sway um, here, so we'll do plus current sway, okay? And then we're done in here. So next we need to go ahead and make that float current sway. Um, I just want to point out, I can't remember if I talked about it last time, but I did not use any accessor um, for these current recoil and current sway. Uh, not just because I got lazy, you know. Um, when you don't put one, by default it is set to private. Um, so no other scripts except for this one can access these. So just something to keep in mind. Um, and then in here we're going to go ahead and... We're going to do a start coroutine and we'll do sway manager. Oh, huh, that's interesting. Because one of the overloads um, for a coroutine is a, a string and it accesses uh, the, the method by a string, but I think it's a lot cleaner just to use our uh, an iron numerator. Okay, so we're going to set it up similar to our, our re-chamber, except it's probably going to be simpler, actually. We'll do a while true, so this this loop will run forever, um, because remember, a while loop will continue to run while the condition is true, and since we plug in true automatically, this will always run, unless we break out of it inside somewhere. And we don't want to do that, because we want to run this way continuously. So in here, we'll do... Um, actually, um, in here, we'll do a check if not allow input continue. And what this means is, um, if, you, if you go back in here, you'll notice we only update the current sway if we're allowing input. We also don't want to um, recalculate the sway during input, or else it'll be like, okay, we're aiming, we reach the, the top of our sway, we shoot, it comes back down to the top of our sway, but the sway manager has still been calculating um, while, we're, while we're doing the rechamber animation. So it'll think, let's say now it thinks that we're, we're at the bottom of the sway, whereas the client thinks it's at the top of the way and it'll move up and th it's something really minor but it, we're trying to make this uh, as user friendly and as clean as possible this looks really nice um, on the uh, the client end if we don't calculate sway if we're not allowing input basically it'll look like our sway picked up where we left off which may, may, might not be the most realistic thing but uh, I think it for, for coming from a game aspect of it that's how most um, games like this would be uh, would be tackled like that Next, we're gonna actually do the uh, current recoil or current sway calculation. So we'll do um, first. We need a yield return null, which just basically means wait a frame. Because if we don't have any sort of yield or wait statement in here, um, this loop will actually um, freeze the screen because it'll it's running this constantly and will not have time to update the um, the uh, the graphics layer. Um, so we do need a yield statement in here somewhere. That just means um, yield the frame, which is the lowest amount of time we can actually wait. And then we'll do um, if current sway is greater than or equal to current weapon dot stability. And one more thing, outside of our while, we're gonna make a we're gonna initialize a new boolean and we're gonna call it moving up. 
and we'll set it to true. And then here we'll do and moving up. We'll do moving up equals false. Then we'll also do it. We'll, uh, next bit we'll do an else if current sway is less than or equal to negative current weapon dot stability and we're moving down or not moving up and we're set moving up equal to true okay and now below this now that we've uh, decided which direction we want to move we're gonna go ahead and actually do the motion so um, we'll do if moving up current sway plus equals um, we'll do um, you know I've I changed my mind we'll do current weapon not stability times time dot delta time and actually I'm gonna go ahead and go open up our weapon script in here and I'm also gonna add in another public float and we'll do uh, max sway okay so our stability is gonna be the time of our um, sway and the max sway will be the amount of our sway so in here we'll do max sway max sway and then er, uh, yeah that's right and then here we'll do our st uh, added our stability to it. So what this means is, um, once we once we're over our max sway amount, set us to moving down, and if we're under our max sway our negative max sway amount, move up. And then in here, add to our current sway of the stability. Okay, and then in here we'll have an else. I'm just going to copy this line here, and instead of a plus equals, we're going to put a minus. Oops, a minus equals. Okay, and let's go ahead. I'm going to pause the video and load up Unity. Okay, we're back, and I was testing it out. It works um, for the most part, but one thing I want to keep in mind, I hit escape to uh, or escape the mouse, and Unity froze, and what I was talking about earlier about how Unity will freeze if we don't do this yield statement here, um, I forgot to mention is that our continue statement, I can't remember if I talked about that, but our continue statement just basically means skip the rest of the code after this and continue on to the next iteration. So if we're if I hit the escape button and turn off our allow input, we are now telling this loop to keep running continuously until allow input is allowed. So what we want is actually to move this yield in front of our uh, allow input check. So now we're going to yield the frame no matter what. And I'm actually going to have to force close Unity probably. If I can find there we go. Okay. Um, And that should be it. Okay, we're back in here. I set our stability to one and our max sway to one. And this is what it looks like. So now we have a much more realistic, uh, realistically acting um, uh, overlay. <laughs> However, it's still uh, still pretty easy to, to hit our guy at this range. So uh, eventually we're going to go ahead and add in things like um, wind so we can be affected by our power but that'll be in a later tutorial so I'll see you guys next time